Yeah, the thank you page is super, super important. And, and when Karcher made that change to the calendar, I bitched at them because when when it when, like the first like hour they rolled it out, I'm like, dude, where the hell's the thank you page? Like, we need a thank you for you know scheduling confirmation page for those who are Facebook advertising, you know. So yeah. so I don't know if it, I I doubt it was anything that I had to say to them, but but they ended up putting that feature in. And so let's go into the um, let's go into your Kartra. So let's get out of here. Let's um. Just published live. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say my progress. You know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Three clicks, man. Three clicks. Three, clicks. three clicks too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three uh, clicks. Uh, right on, yeah. bro. Where, where are you? What state are you in? What, what part? What part uh, of actually, none of the above, man. I'm in Ontario, Canada. You know what? I, I I glanced on that landing page and I did notice that. You're right. You're in Canada, bro. Right on, man. Yeah. Right dude. on. Yeah. Power of the so internet. you're freezing your ass off right now over there. Oh, dude, it's snowing hard right really? now. Really? <laughs> Is that yeah, maybe after from? the call, I'll put you on video. You can see it. It's crazy. Toronto. So I'm in Toronto. Um, born and raised but, or what? Uh, yeah. Born and raised. Born and so raised. you're used to that. You're used to that. Right on, man. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, you put on a jacket, you deal with it. It's no San Diego, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you that much. But, yeah. <laughs> wow, man. That's a place I, I, I definitely want to go, man. I've been in California my whole life, and I'm, I'm over it. You know what I mean? Like, But I got children, and... I have, I have of one course. kid that I share with my previous wife. So it's like, I got to stay for him. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, of course. if it wasn't my little mobile, restrictions, man, like my yeah, wife yeah. and I, we have two little babies and, and she's down to just pick up and leave. Like she wants to just freaking get out of here and go to another country. And, and Canada was one of them, man, was an option. But again, I have a, I have a 13 year old son that I just can't, I can't yeah. leave. You know what I mean? So, of course. but I'll get well, out there ever sometime, here for a man. visit, man. For I, sure. I'm happy to show you the world. Oh, bro, I'll hit you up. You're my boy now, dude. man. You're my boy now. I'm going to hit you up when I get out there yeah. for sure, Jordan. Absolutely, dude. Thanks, no bro. doubt. No doubt. Thanks. Um, so, okay, so so I made this. I actually, I used the agency campaign as a starting point. Okay, I perfect. deleted the survey component because I didn't mm -hmm. need it. Don't mm -hmm. know if I should have done that, but I did. And I took out those sequences as well. Yeah, that's cool. Obviously, um, I just want to make sure that, yeah, like I said, that I can get a tracking and like I can yeah. make sure that I'm tracking the thank you page so that I can do the custom pixels as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. So just let's go ahead and create one real quick. So we can just throw one up real quick, hit page, and let's just throw up a, a thank you page real quick, a thank you. And and this will be your thank you for scheduling page. So let's just um, find one and you can just you know edit it later, but we'll use anything for now. Perfect. So we'll come into this one and then um, we'll just go ahead and, and, and save progress, publish live, and then return a dashboard. Okay. Uh, agency, uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for scheduling, actually, but you can change it later. Oh, okay. Thank you for scheduling. Yeah. That way you can kind of distinguish, you know, the difference between yeah, that yeah. one and your actual the thank you one. page. Mm -hmm. when they opt in and and that's so 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 that's why i want to jump on because those two things fired me up as far as answering them because yeah this right here this is super super important and i want you to really know that you can do it do it this way which is the best way and the old and yeah. the way you have to and do i'm it sure other people tracking. have the same question right like it's probably a pretty common one because a lot of people want to just go from no ebook yep. anything like that just the straight to, to yes you know, doing something like that so yes for okay. sure so that, that was number one. And then and the number two is I highly, and I know you mentioned you don't have an ebook or anything like that, but I, I highly recommend you guys get your hands on something. And and yeah. because he's he's in such a, a, a great niche and industry, and yeah. he's in the type of business where information is powerful. Like I yeah. like a lot of people don't know shit about taxes. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So it's like if I can if I can give away something of value for free up front, I'll ca I'll capture way more. He, you would capture way more leads for him if you were given out a pdf and then and then through your email sequence is where well it's the thank you page where you're getting them to schedule a call um you're, you're taking them to a landing page to download the pdf only but then it's on the thank you page where you're getting them to schedule a call and if they don't mm -hmm. schedule a call on that thank you page then you're getting them to schedule a call in your email sequences so right, but it all right. started with giving out that pdf and and with his brand all over it his contact information over it his face all over that pdf like that, that would be, that would really help conversions, man. But I know you already know that, but if yeah. you, you know, you have some clients that want to get straight to the point and want to go straight to a call and that's cool. But, but the market sometimes doesn't work that way. Like 
it's always best to give something for free first. Warm someone up a bit, right? Give them yeah, some warm them up, bro. Warm them up. Heck yeah. Exactly. Especially if his, if his business is seasonal. So it's like, if I can, if I can give you something of value 24 seven throughout the entire year and nurture that lead and build an email list of hundreds of people that I'm nurturing and, and, and bringing value to every other day via email automation. And then when that time of year hits, I have freaking 300 people that want to schedule a call with me. Yeah. Exactly. You know, versus, versus okay. just running ads at the hot time of the year and expecting people to just give me a call, especially mm -hmm. people that don't mm -hmm. know me. Like I'm running, especially if I'm running cold traffic and, and these don't, people don't even know me yet, you know, cause that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be, you're going to be running ads to, to a, an audience of people that, that don't know him yet. They're not people that have, that have watched a ton of his videos. They're not people that have landed on pages. So your, your pixel data isn't quite there. So, so it's going to take you way more money up front to get that conversion for an appointment because these people don't know you yet. Yeah, you know, no, I mean? absolutely. So, so, but this is something you already know. Well, and, I'm and, working on that as well, yeah. but I think right now we just want like an MVP for sure. out the door, but I couldn't yep. agree more of that. Yeah, you need for to sure, bro. That. That, so uh, that, this that right chance. here. Yeah, for sure. Well, and we'll chat more about that too, man, for sure. So let's, let's get out of here. So let's, um, let's just return a dashboard, publish live, and then, and then return a dashboard. And then, and then we'll just use this as, as the blue, as the model, as the, you know, the blueprint for this, thank you for scheduling page. And then, um, right. and then what we'll do is we'll simply go into the calendar and then, um, and then everything will be, will be inside of the settings in the calendar. Okay. So okay. now I'm going to jump so, over to my calendar. Yep. So go to your calendar. And then let's let's edit that one. So hit the three dots on that calendar, and then let's let's go into this one. Edit. Yep. Cool. And so as we go in here, you'll see the um, that success or that yeah the success confirmation, which is the fourth one over. So we'll just do save and next, save and next. Um, and there, there's that that little you know brief message that you can you know write out and 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 give yeah. them as a confirmation. But then also there's a drop down. So hit save and next. There's a drop down that allows you to, yeah, we'll manage, we'll change this one. So what we're going to do is scroll down a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, right at the bottom, you can see that button to the right. It's gray to the very, very right. So shift that on. And then all you're going to do is simply go to Karcher page and then find that page. And so what I, what I did, and this is, um, so let me, let me oh, show darn. you so you can, You're right. yeah. So go ahead and I, I don't know which one it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what you said. I think it was yeah. this one. I, I put the space. Okay. But, okay. And then I can have a button. Yeah. And, and what I do is watch. So, so there I put click here to confirm your appointment or something like that. And so let me show you, let me show you mine. So you can, um, so you can just model, model mine. Okay. And, and, and I'll I just, just, I'll just quickly save this, give it a, give it a quick save. And then I yeah. can switch it. You, you cool. can, or you can, or you could just leave it, but, but let me, um, let me show okay, you how basic, sharing. let me show you how basic mine is real quick. So, okay. um, so as someone goes to my calendar, let me, um, and this is in the success. So I really took out all that information in the, in that success field so if I go over here, see, I book 2 p.m. And then I hit next. And then um, there's my name, there's my email. And then I hit next. Here's that confirmation or that success little message. But what I did is I simply, all I put was I put almost done, click button below to confirm, to confirm appointment. And then so on my oh. button, I just put confirm here. So look what happens. When they click confirm here, it takes them straight to my thank you. Oh. Nice. And okay. so, and so look right here, my pixel, I have everything, you know, the pixel, I have the, the, the custom conversion, there's a scheduled appointments. So I can run Facebook conversion ads for appointment, appointment only, right? Because there's my custom yeah. conversion. That's also my custom audience. So this link is also my custom audience, right? So I'm able to set that up as a custom audience as scheduled appointments. So yeah, man. So that's that's all you gotta do. So go ahead and, and then you share. also are running a pixel. Sorry to jump in, but you're also running a pixel on that previous page because I also want to make sure that I'm remarketing or targeting ads to people who come to that page. Don't oh book yeah. 
oh yeah, bro, for sure. What you're going to do, the custom audience is um, web page visitors. So for example, like, let me, um, let me go ahead and share your screen, go ahead and share your okay. screen. And then let's go back to the dash to the, to my pages. Let me, let me show you this part. What you'll want to do. So, so let's, so go ahead and go ahead and um, yeah, you can oh. go to my pages, go to my pages. Yeah, so when you set up the custom audience, what you'll want to do is, is the landing page, the landing page, that's your custom audience, right? That's web page visitors only. And as yeah. you set up that comp, as you set up that custom audience for the landing page, you'll also exclude anyone who has landed on the thank you page and also anyone who has landed on the thank you for scheduling page. Okay. Because okay. that's a, that's a straight up website page visitors only because those are mm -hmm. people that you can then retarget in the future. Cause they have yet to click the green button. They have yet to schedule an appointment. And then, and then those who actually land on that, thank you for scheduling page, that's a custom audience. And those are folks that you can exclude. Okay. As you run so, future ads, you know? Yeah. I mean, like this is probably for a separate time and I'm, I'm trying to figure that out on my own with some of your videos, but I'm, I've set up like the event manager. Now I've added mm -hmm. it in. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, more trying to figure out like, how do I compartmentalize? Like you have so many good pixels running in different ways. I kind of, right now, I feel like all of ours are bundled into one in this page views. We need to kind of figure out because I didn't no, add that, a That's fine. The, that's fine from there. It's, it's the pixel. Like, so all you do is click on from a new, a new website, from a new website, mm -hmm. and then you grab that pixel, install code manually. That pixel is, is a very general pixel that goes on every page. Once right. the, and it's, and it's page view, that's fine. And, and once that, once that pixel is installed on every page, then you go and create custom audiences around specific links. Okay. And that's, that's not really with the pixel. That's with using the data that's derived from the pixel, which you can do in Facebook. Yeah, for sure. Like that, that's using the pixel that's, that's based off of the pixel. So anyone who lands on this specific page, my pixels tracking it, but also it's an, it's an audience, it's a custom audience. So because my same pixel is on all three of those pages, I'm now going to go create a custom audience and name them those three pages. So Custom audience one is web page visitors only, and I exclude anyone who has opted in. Custom audience number two are those who opt in. Custom audience number three are those who actually schedule an appointment and land on that thank you for scheduling page. That's a specific custom audience. So right. now, now as I look at my custom audience, it's all about your custom audiences, man. That's what it's all about are your yeah, custom 100%. audiences your custom audiences, and then making sure that the thank you page is set up as a custom conversion as well. Mm -hmm. So right. if you're running ads for, for, for appointments, then that thank you for scheduling page is a custom conversion and a custom audience. Yeah. So, um, so, 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 so all you'll really be doing in the future are mad managing your custom audiences knowing who has landed on the page only and, and then retargeting them, knowing who, who actually scheduled an appointment and then excluding them from seeing other ads. Okay. It's just managing the custom audiences. That's all you're going to be doing. It's, that's, that's the most important. That's where your money is at, is in retargeting those custom audiences. Exactly, for sure. And that's not yeah. even just on this. That's on any page that we have, like you said, on page views and then being able to exclude the ones that have already booked an appointment or are in another custom audience, right? So yeah, it makes yeah. tons of sense. Yep, for sure, for sure. So go back into the calendar real quick, and then and then and let's edit that, and let's go let's go back to that success um, part. So all I did is I I just simply I just simply added a button, and I I took out pretty much all that text mm. that, that's in there by default, and I just um, let me. Right. And you made it just be a very clear, this is your next step. Click yes. Click. Yes. Right. So, it, so there's no other confusion. Like it, it, it looks like they absolutely have to click that button to, to finalize the appointment, you know? So, so instead of all this, instead of all actually... that, I just put headline, I put sub headline and then I put a button, you know? Okay. So um, thank you. Thank you. We can't wait to help that can, that can change. You can, you can rename that if you want. Um, okay. Yeah. 
right at the top, the headline, the sub headline, and that's it. Oh, that's like, it. I don't think I have anything in the text. Yeah, I don't have I don't have anything. It's, okay. it's the headline, the sub headline, and I'll put like like at the headline, almost almost done, appointment almost complete, or something like that. Like click the link below. Yeah. To complete. To confirm appointment. Yeah. To confirm. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Click the link below to confirm appointment. And then that button, you could just put click here or confirm here or something like that. Something short and sweet. Click here to confirm. Nice. Yeah. So if you already put it at the top, click the, click the link below to confirm appointment. The button, button says confirm here. Nice and easy. Perfect. And it shows it right there, right, right at the bottom, you know, so almost done. And then, and then, so let's, so then, yeah. So go ahead and um, save at the top and then just, just test it, you know, test it and, and um, it'll take you to that. Thank you for scheduling page. And that's the page you want. Awesome, man. That's great. Yeah. Yes, that's bro. super helpful. And yes, uh, dude. yes, yes. I'll be able to do it from here. Awesome, man. So hit me up anytime, bro. Hit me up anytime. Like all I really do is just kind of focus on, on Kartra and, and, and Facebook advertising and, and just other affiliate marketing and YouTube stuff. But hit me up anytime, bro. I'll jump on a call with you anytime, man. You're a cool guy. You're my guy in Canada, man. So hit me up anytime. I got you, man. Thank you so much. Right I'm on, the next step is to test this out. And then I'm jumping on a Facebook. Got to get some, some ads running. I want to make sure my custom audiences are there. May I have a couple bumps along the way. I don't think I will, but if I do, I'll be sure to hit you up, man. But Just set up, the set up a custom audience. And then, and then for sure around that, um, around that, thank you for scheduling page, set up a custom conversion. Okay. Cu okay. Custom audience, custom conversion, custom audience, custom. Well, I know conversion. you have a ton of content on that as well. Um, so I, I can be able to, I'll be able to use that as well. Yes, for um, sure. But I have some recent videos on, on that for sure. For okay, sure. Custom cool. audiences and custom conversions. David, would you mind me doing me one quick favor? Could you send me the recording? Is that? Oh like yeah, for sure, see? bro. There's for sure. So much. You, you know what, so dude? Here, bro. Here's what I'm going to do, man. Here's what I'm going to do. I got, I got, I got like literally 10 minutes. Here's what I'm going to do. Let me help you do this real quick. Let's go to your ads manager. Let me, let me show you how to do this real quick. Okay. And, and, and that might not be the link you end up keeping um, as far as that. Thank you for scheduling. You might get yeah. a different link, but I'll just show you how to do it. And then, yeah, I'll send you the recording. So here's what you want to do. You want to click on the dots to the very, very left. And is that this is the right account you're in, right? Gary, Gary yeah. Gasparit. Yeah. yeah. OK. Yeah. So click on the dots to the left and let's let's go to custom. Con let's go to events manager. Actually, we're right here in the in, in, yeah. we're already right here. Let's go to audiences. Click on that and go to audiences real quick. Audience to the very left, the dots. And then just click on click on audiences. Yeah, hit the drop down and then go to audiences. You'll see it right below. Audiences. Ooh. It's gotta go a little further down here. There we go. Okay, perfect. So in here, bro, this is where your money's at. This is where you have to be um, including them or excluding them. So as you go and set up the ad, you go to the ads manager, you click that green button. You choose your objective, and then you go to the second step, which is the ad set. In the ad set level, this is where you're you're either including to retarget these people, or you're excluding these audiences. And and so the ones that you'll be excluding is your thank you for scheduling right. audience. The ones you'll always include in retargeting future in future ads, ad number two and on, for example. The audience that you'll always include to retarget are your web page visitors only. So right. here's here's how you. So do you know how to set this part up? Because you got two of them right there. But do you? Do yeah. You well, to... I, I set these up in the past, but I I know how to set up a custom audience. Like, okay. You, oh, so you already know how to do this part? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd be happy to walk through with it. Okay. Let's no, see. if you already know how to do it, bro, I don't want to waste your time. I just thought you didn't know how to do the audience because what you want to do is you'll also want to exclude. So just yeah, just hit website and then just yeah. just put in that that first you know, landing page link and then, and then exclude the thank you for scheduling one. So in this one, what I'll do is events, you'll, you'll go, you'll hit the drop down and go to specific. So people who visit specific, and then you can change the 30 days or you can go off of 30 days. It's up to you. You can go up to 180 as the max. So Facebook can track up to 180. And then, and then right there, you'll paste in your, your link. You'll um, get the landing page link. And you'll paste in everything except for the HTTPS. So okay. if you go to your card so trip. To take my card trip page. Yeah, this one right pages. here. You Actually, you go have it this. open. Or, yeah, you can go there. Click on that one. So get code. 
and then and then copy everything except for the www yeah everything is yeah perfect everything yeah from the cash flowing on perfect okay so copy that awesome. and then all you're going to do is just paste yep. it in into the into the ads manager okay yeah so you'll just you'll just paste it in right there and then you'll exclude the other page and, and always hit the drop down too so when you paste it in you'll you'll see a drop down always click on the drop down and so now what you'll do is you'll exclude. So click on exclude people. And now you're going to exclude anyone who lands on the thank you for scheduling page. So specific, you can go 180 and then, yeah. And then down, just paste in the thank you for scheduling page. Awesome. Yeah, dude. So this becomes a, a very specific audience of web page visitors only. Okay. And then, and then what you'll do is you'll also, yes, yeah, since you already have it copied, let's go ahead. And so go ahead and name it. So scroll down and this is, this is landing page visitors only, and you can always rename it, but that's kind of what I always do is landing page visitors only. You know, so this is an audience that you'll always, always, always want to retarget um, because they've yet, you don't have to put anything in the description. You could just hit yeah. create audience. Okay. So these are people who have yet to schedule a call. So just click done. And then since you already have it copied, you might as well just create one real quick of, of appointments. So create audience and then just do it again with, um, and, and name this one, go ahead and hit website. You can name this one scheduled appointments. These are people who have landed on the thank you for scheduling uh, page. So this is including and excluding the, just the inverse essentially. Yes. So I want to make sure I'm putting this one in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hit that, hit the blue. There you go. And then you're not excluding anyone. Actually, you're not going to exclude anyone. There are people who specifically have landed on this page only. They landed on the landing page too, for sure. But, but we, 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 we really distinguished the first audience landing page right. visitors only. And then we excluded this page here. We're putting only this, we're putting this page. So anyone who lands here, their appointments. So scroll down, give the audience name. And these are, these are straight up scheduled appointments. So this is an audience from, let's just call it ad number two and on. Let's say you run that first ad and you actually have get, get someone to schedule an appointment. You can click the blue one. Um, or, or maybe it takes the second ad or the third ad before someone actually schedules an appointment. It don't matter. Whenever that happens, the very next ad and on, you don't have to put ad one. They're just straight up scheduled oh. appointments. Like whoever has scheduled an appointment, um, and even, even those who, yeah, go ahead and rename it because it's really just scheduled appointments. It doesn't even matter. These, these could be people who actually don't even come off of an ad. So if I just go to your calendar and, and I just, you know, schedule an appointment, like, because I'd, I'd be using his, the calendar for everything. I don't just use it for advertising. Like I use my right. calendar for everything. So even, even, even with you, as I send you my Kartra link, you're going to schedule an appointment. You're going to land on that. Thank you for scheduling page. You're now in my audience. So right. it's not just ads. So that one is straight uh, scheduled appointments. And, and that's, that's perfect. So from, so whenever you get, whenever you do get your first appointment from an, from, from actually from, from anything, actually, yeah, from anything, you'll always want to exclude that audience. So, right. so and always, and keep the bucket of scheduled appointments the same because it doesn't really well, you can do it, but it's not really that effective to have a bunch of different schedule appointments running. I guess if you wanted to make sure that you were seeing which ones were converting along the different, different I would ads. Need, you could do that, but that's just way, way more work than needed. I would just leave yeah. it, leave it, leave it general. Like anyone who has scheduled an appointment, you're going into this bucket, you know, and, 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 and that's a person that I, that regardless if they came from ad number one, ad number 11, regardless if they came offline, it don't even matter. You're going into that bucket and I'm going to exclude you from seeing any of my future Facebook ads because I don't need to be spending money on you seeing it. You've already scheduled an appointment with me, you know, and, and now in Kartra money as well on the ad, on the ad. Stuff oh yeah, well. for sure, bro. For sure. Because, because that's, that's an audience. I have the lead. So I don't need to show them another ad. If anything, I can just send them an email. Exactly. 
right? You have it <laughs> because I have it. So, so, so I'm going to make sure I exclude those people from, from seeing ads. You know, I don't, you don't want to spend more than you need to on advertising. Right. So, um, but then again, but then again, it could work both ways. Now that I have an audience of everyone who has scheduled an appointment, I could for sure run an ad to just them. Hey guys, this is Jordan. Just wanted to send a quick video out. We're doing a very special promotion for everyone that has scheduled an appointment in the last 90 days. Here's what we got going on. Like that's a very specific message, right? Showing up in someone's newsfeed because you have that audience and they've scheduled an appointment before, right? So it can go both ways. You can always include and send them a specific ad or exclude from all ads. You know what I mean? You can kind of go, go as is. So here, here's the next one that you want to do in the last one. Let's, let's click on the dots to the left and then go to, go to events manager and then um, go ahead and hover over the blue triangle to the left. And you're going to click on custom conversions. So since you guys are looking to shoot ads out for appointments, this right here is the most important, the most important. So that blue triangle to the left, hover over that and then click on custom conversions. Okay, so this is super, super important. So it's not the, it's not the webinar sign up. So, or unless that, is that, is that an actual? No, this was, this was used before on okay. a previous. Let's delete that one then if you don't need it. Delete that one. That way you can have a, have a fresh one, fresh start. So click on manage at the bottom left. And then you're going to hit the drop down to the right and then just delete it. Okay. This right here, bro, is your money. This right here is freaking gold. This right here is what it's all about. As you go and run, as you go and click that green button, you're running conversion ads. And you're running, the, you're running conversion ads to this specific link to this specific event. So click on the blue one. This is a conversion event. Um, so go ahead and um, go to name your conversion, name it, name it, name it. Um, because everything is based on that. Thank you page that thank you for scheduling page. Everything is the objective is to get people to schedule a call. So I'm shooting for that objective. So name the audience um, scheduled appointments, scheduled appointments. It could be the name. It could be the same as the audience as a custom audience. This is a custom conversion. So the audience is one thing that allows us to include or exclude from seeing future ads, but the conversion event, that's the main objective of what we're trying to overall do. Like the main objective, I'm only running this ad Facebook. I'm only willing to give you money. If you can, if you can give me this conversion event, if you can get me people to this specific page, I don't need people just to my landing page. I need people to, to, to convert. I need them to land on this thank you page. And so we're going to tell Facebook, what that thank you page is right here. So click on the blue, select your own category, that link. And then you're going to hit the drop down and then go to down to scheduled. I think it, I think it's scheduled. I think that might be, yeah, schedule. So right there, schedule. And then, and then you're, all you're going to do is paste in the link to the thank you for scheduling page. Perfect. And then hit create. Okay. Now here's what you got to do next. Here's what's very, very important. Go to that page, hit done, go to that page or just open it up in a new tab. Or if you have it up already at the top, go to that tab. Yeah. So open up this page. You're going to, you're going to let Facebook read it for the pretty much for the, actually, you know what? Your pixel is not on it. Your pixel is not on it. You got to add your pixel on it real quick. Okay. So I can hop into that and do that quickly. Yeah. Add, add your pixel on it. Let's, let's do that real quick. Cause I want you to see what it looks like. Just, um, yeah, go into pages, go into edit. And let's just add that, add that pixel real quick. Yeah. Because Facebook, Facebook, yeah, Facebook needs to read that page. That pixel needs to pick up that page. That's why we're going to open it up in a new tab. Um, And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the ads manager and refresh that page. So so let's just, yeah, so just go ahead and go to the ads manager, unless you already have your pixel already over here. Yeah, I'm just going to, so I'm going to go in here, settings, SEO parameters. Nope, sorry. Tracking. Actually, it's, it's tracking. Yeah, tracking. And then right here. Yeah, so we'll grab that pixel real quick. So if we got to go back, we can go back. So yeah, go to... um. Yeah, so just go back to events manager. Mm. 
Okay, perfect. Did you copy? Did you hit that green copy code? Yeah. You did? Okay, yeah, cool. Right awesome. Here. Awesome. Okay, perfect, dude. So let's let's yeah, let's hit apply, publish live, and then and then and then yeah, open it up in a new tab. Awesome. And do you do you have the Facebook Pixel Helper installed? Yeah, I do. Awesome. I do. Awesome. Again, because of you, man. You got Thanks, you got that bro. going. I got that right there. Awesome, dude. So that thing's gonna light up once we once we um publish this live and open it up. And then and then what we're gonna do is we're going to um and I and I use the pixel just just for my own personal tracking, right? Like I can care less who is pixeling me. You know what I mean? Um, I, I use it just so I can test my pages and make sure my custom conversions are set up right, make sure the pixel is installed correctly. Um, that's why I have the pixel helper. So this right here, once we, once we open up this page, we'll see that our custom conversion was installed correctly or, or not. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, perfect. So let's hit that pixel helper and let's see what 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 it says. So if we click on the pixel helper, there's your custom conversion. So here's what's very, very important. So as what we just did is normally normally the pixel's already there, right? So so all you would do is just take the page, open it up like this, and then boom, it the pixel helper shows you the conversion event is there. But what you want to do for sure, one thousand percent is go back to the ads manager. Click on the dots. So let's X out of here. Yeah, and then we'll go. Actually, what would what what you'll do is you'll just hover over the triangle, hover over the blue triangle, and then go to custom conversions. There it is. There, it's active. Now here's the deal, though. What we did three minutes ago is we set up the custom conversion, and then we were here, and that was inactive right? Mm -hmm. All you would do is, is go to the page, open it up, just like you did. Look at the pixel helper, make sure your, your custom conversion is listed and then come back over here and refresh this page. But that well, page, I understand now that it's already here. We're looking at it right here. We're looking at it there. I can do. Then we go back to the ads manager. Okay, we're right here. It shows inactive. We refresh it and then it's active. The reason why it's active now is because we left it and then came back. You can do that too. You can do that too. But normally you wouldn't have went back to get your pixel, paste it, right? Copy and then come, right? So because we had to go back, we came back here now. Now it's active because it's refreshed. But normally you would be right here and it'd be inactive. So you just refresh it and then it'll go active. Okay. So so as you go run, so now let's go, let's click on the dots to the left. Let's go to the ads manager. So hit that green button as we're going to go, you know, set up an ad, what you want to be running, man, are conversion ads. So conversion is what you're shooting for. And as, as you click on conversions, you'll want to run multiple ad sets. That's for sure. You'll want to run multiple ad sets. That's a whole another call, but, um, but it's in yeah. the ad set level where you'll now choose that conversion. Okay. So let me, let's, let's let this load real quick. I do know you got to bounce soon. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I'll, I'll, we'll finish up right here. Okay. So go conversions and then hit continue. And then, and then um, we'll go next one more time. So we'll scroll down and we'll go next. So it's in this ad set level. So now you're in this ad set level right here where it says pixel right below, right where it says your pixel, there's your pixel. And then now what you're, what it's doing is retrieving your event. And so go ahead and, and yeah, so, okay. So there it is there. So by default, it, it's already there, but if you can exit out, go to an X out scheduled appointments. Normally when you come here, it's blank right there, the X next to right. scheduled appointments below the conversion event. No, that Current X. Event. Yeah. Right below, right oh, there. Yeah. That, yeah. So normally when you come here, it's blank, just like this. And what you'll have to do is click, look for the active event, which is scheduled right. appointments because we refreshed the page. Now it's active. That's what you're doing, bro. So you're running conversion ads under that conversion event. And then as you go to the third step, the new ad, that's where you'll put the learn more button. And that learn more button goes to your, your landing page. But right here, so there's two links you're telling Facebook. You're telling them where we go when we click learn more, which is the landing page. 
and then what our overall objective is for this entire ad. It's conversion, and that's the event, the conversion event scheduled appointments. That's where I would put my landing page right here. That's where you put the landing page right there. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, bro. So, so multiple ad sets is what you want to be doing. Um, I have videos on that, man. I have videos on, on multiple ad sets. It's, it's, it's just breaking up your targeting to see where your real ROI is at. You have to be running ads that way for sure. Um, and then you have to be running campaign budget optimization for sure as well. So hit me up, bro. Hit me up, hit me up. We'll jump back on. And, and if you need more of this, I got a ton of YouTube videos, but I'd love to give you my time as well, man. I'll show you some more stuff on the, YouTube, on the Facebook side for sure. So, yeah, man. I love that, dude. This is email me anytime. Insane. Dude, you saved me like half a day right here. <laughs> right on, bro. Sounds good, Jordan. Right. I'll talk to you soon, bro, hey. man. Stay warm. All right. You too. Thanks, Thanks man. Appreciate yes, it. Yes, sir. Yes, Great sir. Work. Thank you, man. Late.